TV. Well, basically, it's really real. you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm I'm not what you call a churched individual. I wasn't raised in the church. Uh, of course, like most people in the hood, I went to church. You know what I'm saying? Moms was strung out on crack, strung out on drugs. Uh, earliest I can remember, it's always been the streets for me. Uh, on on the strip that that was, you know what I'm saying, real popular where I'm from. My pops owned a club on one side of the street. You know what I'm saying? Granddaddy owned a club on another side of the street. You know what I'm saying? So I just was raised in it. I was at I was in the club at, uh, at such an early age. Uh, first time I can remember even smoking weed was with one of my uncles, and I was I was real little. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was real. In uh, one in my granddaddy club, I even seen one night it was a disturbance. You know what I'm saying? People got all rowdy, and, and he stuff. was at the door of the club, and a dude ended up throwing a broken bottle towards the door. And I saw my granddaddy get his eye put out, you know what I'm saying? Blood just, just gushing out, just gushing out, you know what I'm saying? He actually lost his eye, had to get a glass You know, the eye. way I came to Christ and gave my life to Jesus Christ, um, I was in a secular rap group in the Tampa Bay area, and I got my first record deal probably like in 90, 97 with, with an independent label over there. Uh, me and the group I was with, it was just was, you know what I'm saying, we just was living that life. That super street life, man. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was the weed man. My roommate <clears throat> roommate was selling dope. You know what I'm saying? Cooking cookies. Um, it just it, it was it was super bad, man. Alcoholic. I was an alcoholic. You know, Hennessy all day. All day. Just straight, straight hen most of the time. You know what I'm saying? All day, day in, day out. You know what I'm saying? Woke up, fired up, went to sleep, fired up. You know what I'm saying? That just was the life I was living. And we even had a few labels getting at us and everything, you know what I'm saying, inquiring about us, talking about they was going to fly in the shows and all of that stuff. I mean, it was serious, man. And the cats that I was actually with, you know what I'm saying, I had heard one of the cats rapping one time in one of the songs talking about selling their soul for fast cars and riches for whatever reason. And I had heard Tupac on a song called Smile talking about selling his soul for fast cars and riches. That's who was saying that. And even Snoop Dogg on a song called Murder's the Case, he was talking about selling his soul you know what I'm saying? How he politicking back and forth to the devil. And to me, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> being lost in that street life, it was just words to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just was lost. I ain't know. You know, we think that everybody everybody out there know that they're away from God. My mindset was I just didn't know, man. I was just, I was just wondering. I, was, I used to wonder all the time, you know, was I going to go to heaven or was I going to go to hell? I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I never really heard the the gospel in its purest, in its purest, you know what I'm saying, in purity and in truth, you know what I'm saying. I ain't know that Jesus Christ was the only way into heaven. So one night I was in my home studio, and it had to be like eight to ten people off in there, and um, we had beats and stuff playing in the, in the background and everything. That's how we used to do it, you know what I'm saying. Everybody doing what they do, smoking, drinking, and everything. And actually, it came down to it that dudes actually started being used by demonic spirits. And these spirits start speaking through them, you know what I'm saying? Devils start speaking through them, talking to me, asking me, you know what I'm saying, if I was going to sell my soul, telling me what I needed to do to take my career to the next level in darkness. I mean, dudes actually came up to me holding wads of money, saying, man, don't you want to make all this money? Now, like I said, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't church raised, you know what I'm saying, church every day and all that stuff, but I had went to church, and even though it was a a traditional Baptist church, you know what I'm saying? I had heard about Jesus. I ain't really hear, you know what I'm saying, the truth and everything. But, you know what I'm saying, my questions that I had within myself began to be answered. And I knew that if those demonic spirits was real, if the devil was real, you know what I'm saying, and he was offering me a way, then I knew that God was real. So what I started to do, <clears throat> I grabbed a piece of paper that I had my pad or whatever, and I just started to write, you know what I'm saying, started to repent. And I just read it out loud. And as I would read it out loud, I'd grab my paper and just start to rapping, you know what I'm saying? And start apologizing to God. And as I would do that, somebody would leave my house. One of those, one of those spirits in those people would leave my house. I kept on doing it till all of them left. It had to be like eight to ten of them. After all of them left, I was like, man, what am I going to do? I had a little sawed-off shotgun that was probably about that, that big, you know what I'm saying? And uh, <clears throat> I was like, I'm going to commit suicide. I'm going to kill uh, myself. I got all my weed, you know what I'm saying? I had my selling weed in one pocket, smoking weed in another pocket, and I was going to get ready to head to what we call the Causeway. It's a beach area, you know what I'm saying, known in where I'm from, you know what I'm saying, in, in Florida. And uh, But I know now that it was the Holy Spirit 
You know what I'm saying? I heard a voice saying, you need to go to your mama house. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go to my mama house. I hopped in the ride, you know what I'm saying, and, and drove to my mama house. I wasn't going to tell her what was going on, but I went and sat on a, a chair that she got in the house. And a, she had, a, you know, the pillows that be on the chair. She had a pillow on the chair. I tried to cover the gun with it, and I just was sitting there. And I guess she saw the barrel sticking out from that pillow. She was like, boy, what you doing with that gun in my house? So I started coming clean with her, started telling her what was going on. She went and got the Bible. She opened it up to the 23rd Psalm. And all I saw was, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know what I'm saying? I just started to confess. You know what I'm saying? Jesus, asking Jesus to come into my heart and continually looking at that scripture, saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I then I just said, Lord Jesus, just come into my heart, save my soul. You know, Jesus, just be my, just, just, just save me. I just need you to save my soul. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to sell my soul. I, I didn't know I was away from you. I just need you to come into my heart, come into my life and be my Lord and be my Savior. You know, and of course, Jesus saved, you know, hey, a cleansing work began in me. A cleansing work began in me. For the next seven days, I continued actually to hear the demonic spirit still propositioning me to sell my soul, you know what I'm saying, in exchange for fortune and wealth or whatever in that music game, you know what I'm saying? I even, it, it got so bad, I was so scared, you know what I'm saying, because that spirit of fear, you know, anything with the, man, that's, the, that's his spirit, fear. You know, I was so scared, I made my mama even get in the bed and sleep with me. I, I was like, don't leave me, don't leave me. I couldn't eat. For the, for the next seven days, couldn't eat, couldn't do nothing. It was hard to sleep. The slightest thing woke me up. I look around, posters would be looking at me, blanking like this, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z poster on the wall, just, just blanking, you know what I'm saying? Just looking at me. It was crazy, man. It was real, though. You know what I'm saying? True story. It had no, nothing to do with no drugs or nothing like that. It was just straight crossroads, intersection of the, of the, of the natural realm, you know what I'm saying, and the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? Button heads. And I had to make my choice which way I was going to go. You know what I'm saying? So uh, on the last day, the seventh day, I was completely delivered. Demonic spirits came up out of me yelling. Ah! Just yelling. You know what I'm saying? I was completely delivered. I, I looked at my weed. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what am I going to do with this? First thing I was thinking about doing was just giving it to one of my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, I, I can't give this poison to my homeboy, man. It's poison. So I went to the toilet with it, you know what I'm saying? Just start, just start flushing all the green. Went to the toilet with it. Um, my guns, well, actually, I had already got rid of one of them. Um, the sawed off, I was like, man, first of all, you know what I'm saying, with, with, the, with the garbage that we was involved in, I know my house, my old house was on Fed Watch or whatever. Fed's watching it. One of my homeboys had just got trapped up, you know what I'm saying, had just uh, hit the road for doing some Fed time. And even before he had hit the road, Every time he would come in the house, troll would just swarm the house, you know what I'm saying? So I know I was under surveillance. Even people, after I make my little jugs or whatever, selling my weed, even people were saying how police are stopping my, my jugs down the road, you know what I'm saying? For y'all that don't know, a jug is what we call a, a sale or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Your, your clientele, you know, they were stopping my clientele down the road, confiscating what they just bought. So I knew I was under surveillance. So what I did was broke the salt off up and put it in the trash. And I watched the dumpster, uh, watched the trash people take it off. You know what I'm saying? Went to go try to drink. Went to go beer. try to drink it, man. Didn't even want no more alcohol, no more beer. Just, just, just uh, uh, put it down the sink. You know what I'm saying? I was done with it. It was completely delivered. As far as music was concerned, I was like, man, I'm done with this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I, they can have that. But uh, my name actually used to be Sinister. S Y N I S T A. And uh, I, as I began to just get in God's word, study and pray, you know what I'm saying? He just he just impressed upon my heart as he started showing me my call in, in ministry, call to ministry. He gave me the call to ministry right then. He was like, don't don't you uh stop rapping. He said, you just changed that S into an M. I'm making your name minister, and you go for me, you know what I'm saying? And it's been on ever since, man. Love Jesus, you know what I'm saying? That was July 1999. I